What is up guys? War Dog here. Exhausted as hell carrying all that freaking wood over. We are building a tree house. My buddy number over there. This is his place. Nice. Smoking some cigars and um, I was just recently cleaning up some of these uh, pipes that I made. Also purchased a wooden dowel um, so that I could make more cigars. Cigar tampers. I'll be back with you guys. I'll show you an update on my pipes and let you know what I'm going to do with the water, wooden dowels. First, I got to catch my breath. Later, guys. What is up, guys? Wardog418 here. Just wanted to give you guys an update. I am at my buddy Nubber's house and I've been working on some cutting. I got some wooden dowels that I want to fashion into cigar tampers. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Um, hopefully it comes out as good as the last one I made. Because I've got quite a few pieces cut out. Uh, I'm counting about 12 or 13 pieces. About this exact same length. So I'm hoping that they turn out very, very good. Um, I also got my, uh, my pipe um, finished up with all of the waxing and everything else. Um, use that machine right here to get it all done and this is the uh, the finished product guys hopefully you guys um, think it looks good uh, I think it looks really good I had to redo it because I ended up screwing screwing really badly the the stain on the on the pipe and I didn't like the way that it looked I tried to color the um, the rusticated ends I'm sorry I gotta close the door here So I had to rusticate the bottom, which, you know, was the design that I wanted. But then when I painted it, it did, didn't look so good. So I had to redo it and I had to sand down quite a bit. But I think sanding it down was a good thing. I got to some better grains. Without further ado, let me show you what it looks like. So it looks like the briar is just oozing over the top of that rustication. Um, to me, it looks really good. I'm not sure if you guys can see. I think I just moved the lighting. But um, it looks extremely shiny. What I ended up doing was I took quite a bit of carnauba wax onto it. And after the carnauba wax was already applied very thick, I ended up heating it with some heat from a heat gun and just touching it a little bit till it actually became shiny then I buffed it again and then I ran a rag through it and just kind of cleaned it up turned out really good in my opinion the shine is incredible the the grain on it is just incredible too so uh, the top there I colored with some brown leather dye medium brown and to get some of those lighter colors, I ended up diluting some of that with uh, denatured alcohol. So that's kind of what it looks like. I'm really proud of it. Let me switch the camera over and show you what it looks like a little better. So I'm really proud of the, uh, the way that it looks. Um, the other thing that I had flawed with the last time I, I set it up, uh, the, the area right here, it was a lot thicker on the briar than it was on the stem and I didn't look like the way that that looked so I evened it out I sanded it down to the point where it's flush with the pipe with the uh, sorry with the, the stem but I got deeper into the wood and those grains just look amazing so um, kind of what it looks like it's a little off centered uh, again it's always thicker here simply because I can't get to sanding it very well there but all in all, I gotta say, I'm really enjoying it. So there it is. Oh, and another thing we ended up doing was we ended up taking some uh, some wax. Sorry about that, guys. And doing the same thing with this pipe here, my skull pipe. 
that Nubber made for me. And I ran the heat gun on that as well. It got a little darker in the front. I don't know why. I guess uh, the wax was a little thinner there. But all in all, I am extremely happy the way this came out. So there you have it guys, thank you for um, for watching and stay tuned, like I said I have a bunch of these wooden dowels that I'm going to be fashioning into cigar tampers um, and if you take a look at the poker that I have going on here, it's uh, smaller than the diameter of the bowl here so it should fit most pipes, so uh, hopefully this will work out pretty good. Alright guys, thank you all for watching. I shall see you guys next time. Wardog 418, out.